so we will be continuing with our playlist to depo that hey everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing extremely well so the problem that we will be solving today is designing a browser history so what you need to do is you need to write uh, a class which implements the constructor browser the function visit the function back the function forward so you'll have to design a class okay so if i go back into the code editor for a while this is how the entire snippet of code will look like and you'll have to write pieces of code within itself so before i move into that let's understand what every function does in depth and i'll do that by taking these set of queries as an example so let's take uh, these set of queries as an example and remember this one thing always the first thing will be to set the constructor home page that's the first thing and no matter what queries you are given this will always be your first query that is home page calling the constructor this can be different this can be instagram google.com anything but this is what the first query will be that is calling the home page so technically in your brain just imagine you opened a google chrome tab and the first thing you type is take you forward.org so that's considered as your home page got it so what i will do is i'll consider tuf dot org like that's take forward dot org as my home page done so that's my first query after that i'm asking on the same tab can you go to google dot com so on the same tab i'll go to google dot com perfect again on the same tab i'm asking can you go to insta we're like okay i'll go to insta so currently if i look at my tab I'll, I'll be at instagram right i'll be at instagram on the current tab perfect the next is i'm asking you to go to facebook i'm like fine i'll go to facebook as well on the current tab i'll be on the facebook perfect so currently i'm standing on facebook now what is the next thing going back by one step so what i'll do is i'll go back by one step so can i see my current will now be on instagram so wherever you end up this is what you will return to this function you will say currently i'm on instagram perfect i'm again asking you to go back by one step perfect i'll go back by one step so if i go back by one step again my current will be on google.com so this time my current is on google.com so this is what i will return return google i'm again asking you to go forward by one step so your current will technically go to instagram again so this time what you will return is insta that's what you'll return i'm asking you to visit take you forward so what will happen is from instagram from this tab you will go to take you forward you will go to take you forward if i go to take you forward will there be facebook anymore there won't be because i can go to take you forward i can come back to insta but i cannot go to facebook anymore that's how chrome tabs operate right that's how browser tabs operate right perfect if i go to tuf my current like currently i'm at take you forward perfect when asked to go forward by two steps can i go forward by two steps there's nothing i never visited beyond tuf because currently i'm standing at tuf i have i cannot so if i cannot i will not i cannot go by two steps ahead so if i cannot go by two steps ahead i will return where i'm standing which is take you forward perfect next i will ask to go back by two steps okay i'll go back by two steps so i'll go back by two steps which is which brings me here it basically brings me here so at that's google so i'll return google perfect what's the next go back by seven steps perfect at max i can go one step at max i can go one step because this is my home page because this is my home page so at max i can go one step if i can go one step i will not go seven and i'll return this till what i can go i'll return take you forward and this is how the queries will be executed i'll only return in terms of back and in terms of forward apart from that this will be the constructor which tells me that this is my initial page this will be okay i'm going forward 
Apart from that, for back and forward, I need to return a string, which is basically the URL where I'm currently standing at. Got this? So what is the data structure that we will be using in order to design this entire browser thing? Before I get into that, let's understand three use cases. First of all, I'm visiting a new page, right? So I'm kind of getting into new pages. and I don't know how much. We don't know the length. So I definitely cannot use something like an array, correct? I need to come back as well. Okay, come back. I need to go forward as well. So I cannot use array. So what is the data structure that allows you to go back, go front, and at the same time allows you to keep adding new nodes or new pages? Yes, doubly linked list. Not singly linked list because singly linked list will not allow you to go back. So doubly linked list is the data structure. Okay, I know the data structure. Now, all of the problems we have done, we have stored integers in that node. But this time, if I ask you, what can we store in that particular node? I know one thing, I'll definitely have a next pointer. I'll definitely have a back pointer. That's for sure. In this particular node. What do we store? Can I say that, okay, in terms of data, what I can store is the URL. I can store the URL of the page. I can. So anytime someone says, where am I? From the URL, I can say that we are at google.com, we are at instagram.com, I can. So this is how the structure of the node will look like. Instead of an integer, I'll try to store the data in terms of a string, a URL. Got it? Okay, what's the first thing? I need to design this class, which has the constructor browser. The first thing I'll try to do is, I'll try to design the constructor. I'll write the class. The class is browser. Again, the code will not be language specific. If you want the language specific code, you can find them uh, below. I'll try to write down the functions and the constructors. The concept is same in all the languages. First thing I can do is, I can call the node current and I can initialize it as null or whatever you want to initialize. Okay, it's not initialized as of. Well. After that, I can have the constructor written. And the constructor is always getting a string home page. And if you remember, initially I told you one thing. First query will always be home page. So it'll always be given the home page. Okay, if I've been given dqforward.org as the home page, what I can do is I can actually create a node which has tuf and I can make sure current is pointing to this. So I can create a node and store tuf, like take you forward to org because that's my home page. I'll do that. I'll say, okay, let's have new node and let's have the home page stored in it because that is my URL, take you forward to org, google.com or whatever. And let's call current to stand there. So can I say that my constructor is done and this will only be called once right at the starting of all the queries. Perfect. I can go back and I can say that this is done or the browser is done. What is next? I need to visit a URL. When I'm visiting an URL, I'm visiting google.com. What am I doing? I'm technically again going to a new page. So it's it's a new data. It's a new data, which is basically saying I'm going to Google, right? So I need to create this new thing. Let's try to write down this method as well. So I'm saying visit, and I've been given this URL to visit. What am I trying to do? I'm going to a new page. Okay, so technically, whatever URL you're given, let's try to store it. So I'm saying new node and the URL stored. Maybe let's store it in new uh, node. So I can call it, okay, new node stored. What after this? Can I say the current will be keeping a track? Okay, this is my next page, okay. So I say current dot next is my next page. So that's basically new node. Super simple. None and dusted. What after this? A current cannot stand at take you forward because this is no more the current page. So I'll just update the current to go to Google. Quite simple. So I'll say, okay, current, can you go to this new? Because this is where you will be standing at because you're going to this new page. So probably my visit is done as well. Okay, visit is done. What is next? Going back, 
by certain number of integer steps. Okay, let's try to go back now. So if I've been asked, go back by certain number of steps and this steps is integer. I just need to go back. I just need to go back. So currently I'm standing here. I just need to make sure current tra Travis is back. Correct? Just do it now. What are you waiting for? It's, it's super simple. If like while steps and then greater than zero, basically. And you can say, okay, my current can you go back? Hey current, go back. And you can do steps minus minus. And at the end of the day, you can say return because you need to return the string where you are ending, like after going back by certain number of steps where you are end ending at. So you can say current, this is the page I'm at. So you can call it as data, val, URL, whatever you call it. Done. But is it correct? There was an edge case. Remember? If back goes by seven steps, there were not seven steps. So remember, you go to current, imagine you go back, and now you cannot go back. You need to check. Can you go back? You need to check. So please check. So please make sure you put a check over here if current can go back. That's very important. If only current can go back, then only it will go or else it will break. Quite simple. If it can go, it will. Otherwise, it will break. So can I say that I've written the back as well? I think I can. Forward is going to be similar because I'm just going forward instead of back. So let's write down the forward as well. So I can say forward. Again, I'll be given a URL. So let's take the URL. And this time, oh, sorry. You'll be given the steps. So let's write the forward. So I'll be given the steps. I'll have to return the string or the URL where you're standing at. So what I can do is I can say, okay, while steps greater than zero, which basically means this. And if I have something at the front, it's very important. You should have something at the front to go front. Otherwise you cannot. You say current, can you go front or next door, whatever it is. If there is nothing, then there's no need to go any further. You can simply break. You can simply break. Or else you can say steps. Okay, I've gone these many steps. So please reduce it. Once everything is done, you could just go ahead and say current. Whatever is your data or URL or whatever you call it, just return it. This is how the forward will look like. Super simple. And the class ends over here. If I quickly go back into the code editor. I've written down the exact same code. The only thing that I've done is I've taken a class node. Again, this is in C++. If you want the Java, Python, or any other language specific codes, you can find them below. So I wrote down the pseudo code in the iPad and I'm just showing you one of the language codes. I'm just storing string data. Apart from that, everything stays the same. Whatever I taught you in doubly linked list. And node current page, browser, visit, string back, string forward, Done. And I'll go ahead and click submit and this will be accepted. And you might have a question. What is the time complexity of each and every function? Let's understand that. Can I say the constructor will be big of one? I can. Can I say visit will be big of one? I can because I'm just attaching pointers. Can I say back will be big of number of steps? Depending on how many steps you go back at the worst possible scenario. Forward will be big of Steps, again, that's how a browser operates, isn't it? So in the back end of the browser, this is how data structure works. Got this thing. So if you're still watching, I'm very sure you've understood this. And if that is the case, please, please do consider giving us a like. And if you're new to our channel, do consider subscribing to us as well. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's experience some other video. Till then, goodbye, take care. Whenever your heart is broken.